The scents of the season can be found at the Hamilton household. And the woman behind these happy smells is teaching us how we can make dried fruits from home and use these little packs as natural gift substitutes for any occasion. Thank you so much for being here, Diana. And little Devin, we are so happy <laughs> to have you here. And he gets these happy smells all the time. Oh, yeah. That's Absolutely. awesome. And let's talk about a little bit about your journey. Why did you decide to do some fruit drying process? Yeah, absolutely. So when I got pregnant, um, I was really cognizant of, you know, all the natural smells. Uh, I wanted to stay away from toxins. Mm -hmm. um, so candles were a no-go, wax warmers, essential oils even, unfortunately. Yeah. Everything really kind of messed with my nose. Mm. Um, but then I discovered uh, simmer pots and... Mm. I started making them, and it makes my house smell really good without all the nat or the you know toxins mm -hmm. and all that mm. stuff. So, so when you're talking about the dehydration process, how long does it take from you know start to finish? Yeah, absolutely. So we start usually by taking an orange or an apple or a pumpkin, and we run it through the mandolin. Mm -hmm. So we make pretty thin slices, um, so it doesn't take as long. So then I put them in the dehydrator. I put it on 135 degrees for about 30 hours. So about 30 <laughs> hours. Wow, well, okay. this is a yes. commitment project, but well it worth is. it. Well worth it. Yes, so it takes a while, but it is worth it. Um, it's a slow and low process, so mm -hmm. you don't lose the scent. I do not have a dehydrator. Can I use an oven? You can, okay. absolutely. So gotcha. you can put it on the lowest setting you have possible. So a lot of ovens, that's 175 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, you can use that or um, in the summertime, you can uh, dry them outside. So this 30 plus hours, oh my goodness, yes. making, we also have some cinnamon. And what's on the bottom here? So those are cloves. So this ah. is my particular um, orange cinnamon scent. So I have the dehydrated orange. Um, cinnamon and cloves and that's it. Wow. Yes. And it smells amazing just from here. So from the bagging <laughs> process to the final product here, we have some really popular scents. Yes. Talk to me, what do people do with these and how can I really fill my home with the amazing aura? Yeah, scents? absolutely. So um, I have these packs available. I have three scents currently. Um, I have my orange cinnamon. I have my pumpkin spice latte, which mm -hmm. is really cool. And I also have an apple harvest scent with, with more apple and it has more spices in it. Awesome. Um, so what you do is you take a pack and you open it and you dump it in some water or my favorite thing to do is put it in a crock pot. Okay. Um, oh, crock pot. Yes. Pot. So yes. you don't have to baby the stove all day, mm -hmm. but you can use the stove um, and then you keep adding water and you boil it and the house just smells amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. Great for just little gifts as far as maybe like housewarming for new neighbors, mm -hmm. in a stocking for loved ones, or just a little gift for yourself. Exactly. That's awesome. Well, where can we go for more information to learn more about your journey and how we can support you? Yeah, absolutely. So Ooh. I do have an Instagram and Facebook um, at the.hamiltonhousehold, and I sell them on Etsy, which is etsy.com slash shop slash the Hamilton household. Okay, Diana and Devin, thank you so much for sharing more about fruit drying. Guys, I hope you learned a little something and have some sweet smells along the way.